Welcome in the second episode. Today we will create our project and create the main menu scene. If you want to help support this channel, hit the subscribe button below this video, turn on notification so you will not miss any future episode I release. Ok, so let's get started. So as you can see I have created empty Unity project. This is a 2D project from the template and uh, there is nothing else I set in, so this is just blank project. So first of all, because we're going to create a mobile game, uh, let's go to the file, select build settings, and I will switch to Android. So select Android and hit switch platform. This is done now. Now we can close this window. And as you see in the game tab, I can see basically different resolution and you can change the, the resolution over here. So I'm going to target the 19, uh, 1920 by 1080. Uh, sorry, 1080 by 1920. Okay, so now let's import a few of the packages which we're going to use inside this tutorial. So let's open the Unity Asset Store. I'm going to use my browser to do that. So here is the main page. Now if you go under the 2D and then GUI, you should see all of the GUI packages. Let's sort everything by price, so from low to high. And there is a free package uh, called Awesome Game UI Pack. So let's select this. And you will see the, the this UI, which is quite nice. And uh, we're not going to use all of this pop-up. We're just going to use the buttons. So here is uh, the, here are the sets of the buttons we're going to use inside this tutorial. So I have already added this package to my Unity, but probably you don't. So you have to uh, hit this button which says add to Unity or something similar. Once you do that, you can open it in, in Unity. So hit that button and uh, this package should be available for you. Another package which we're going to use is uh, if I go back under the 2D category, you have the Futured and by Unity. So if you select this, you should see the Moody, Moody Skies. So if I select this, uh, this package, this is also the free package. And uh, this package, we're going to use the background, this uh, purple background in the, inside the tutorial. So again, hit the same button and this package should be available for you. Okay, so once you've done that, we can go back to Unity. And let's go to the window, package manager, and then from this drop down, let's select my asset. And then I, I have a lot of packages uh, available, so I'm gonna search and I'm gonna search for the Moody, Moody Skies, which is this package we have added. Uh, let's hit import and uh, select whatever you like. I'm going to select everything. Uh, if we not need it, we can delete it later. So let's hit import. Okay, so another package we need is uh, the awesome game UI. So awesome ga game UI pack. So this should be available for you also. So let's hit import. Again, I'm going to import everything. Okay, so this will take a while when this package is imported. So mine is already imported. I will leave the link to the, those two packages uh, below this uh, video in the in the description, so you can get the direct link and just click on it, and you'll be directed to the Unity Asset Store. Okay, so we have the graphics we need. So let's close this. Uh, actually, there is one more package we need to import, which is this uh, Text Mesh Pro. So let's go to the packages, uh, select the Unity registry, and let's let's search for the text mesh. Text mesh pro, and then I already have it, but if you don't, uh, you can just import it. So let's close this window now, and we are ready to start developing our game. So first of all, I will select the asset folder. Let's go to the scenes right click create scene i will call this uh, this scene menu 
double click on the scene so we are in the menu scene as you can see here okay let's go to the file and then save and then file save project and now let's uh, first of all add canvas so right click UI canvas okay I'm gonna keep the same name so for our canvas let's uh, let's change the render mode to screen screen space overlay and then for the UI, uh, UI scale mode let's select scale with screen size okay and then the reference resolution I will set this to 480 by 800 and then the match let's put the value 0 0.5 so when we load on different resolution the width and the height will be will be cropped so now let's add the background so I will just right click on the canvas UI image and let's call it background and now let's go to the add-ons uh, MG Lego Moody Skies uh, textures skyboxes and I will I just gonna pick the second one but the problem is if you select the background and you try to grab the texture and drop it onto the source image the unity will not let you do that because as you see we need to provide a sprite but this is a texture so in order to fix that we can select all of these textures and then inside the inspector you should see those options so now the texture type let's change let's change this one to sprite 2d and ui so once you do that you can uh, manipulate other edges if you like but i don't want to i don't want to change anything else so if we're happy let's hit apply and this will take a few seconds to actually convert all of these textures into the sprites okay so once the process is done you should see this small arrow if you press there is going to be the texture but this is a sprite okay so now we can select the background again and grab our texture our sprite and drop it onto the source image right so you should see it and then I will set uh, set native size so this will be already scaled up if you switch to the scene view and you zoom out you will see that this is quite big so we can actually change the shape change the size to display the part you you want to see and now if I switch to the game view I have nice background okay so I'm qu quite happy with this background if you want to change it or if you want to you know like stretch it a bit you can do that so now let's uh, add a few buttons so first button we're gonna add is the play button so right click on the canvas UI button and this button will be play okay for the play button we're gonna use the, the another package so let's go to the sure App studio awesome game UI pack and there should be a buttons and you have this rounded one two three four five okay so pick whatever color you like I'm gonna use the uh, different colors for different buttons so for the play I'm gonna use the blue one so let's find the play button so I have the play button here so I'm gonna just grab it and drop it onto the source image and then hit set native size okay so as you see the button is quite big at the moment we can change the scale so let's set the scale to be 0 0.2 0 0.2 and then 0 0.2 okay so this is this is proper scale and as you see there is a text also in the middle so let's go under the play button and delete the text okay let's position this button on the side I'm gonna just copy this button, the play button, Control C, Control V, 
and as you see I have the copy of the play button, I'm going to rename it to scores, scores button, and let's move it on the y position, uh, on the x position to be in the middle. Okay, and I will just uh, put different icon on it. So this time I'm going to go to the to the green, and let's find the score button. So for the scores, I have used. Uh, I'll be using the achievement. Let's grab it and drop it onto the source image. And now let's do the same for another button. So I'm just going to select the scores, Control C, Control V to copy and paste. And I will rename it to exit. Exit. Let's move it onto the X on the side. And then this time I'm going to go to the red buttons. And uh, let's find the switch off button. Okay, logout button. This is the one I wanna. So I'm just gonna grab it and drop it onto the source image. So we have three buttons at the moment. Let's now add the title. So let's right click on the canvas UI and then text, text mesh pro. Let's uh, because I have not used it before in this project, I need to import the te Text Mesh Pro Essentials. So hit this uh, button here. Okay, once you're done, you can import the examples. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to close this window. And now we have the text displayed on our screen. And currently, let's move it up. Currently, the font is the standard font. So I will just put the color. Color. Okay. And then I need another text right below. So right click on the canvas, UI text Tesh Mesh Pro. Let's name it balls. balls text and the previous one will be color text. Okay, so for the balls text I'm gonna type balls. Right, and then let's move it up. And this is actually quite plain text. Uh, we can change the font we are, we are using. So I'm gonna show you another website which you can get the free fonts. And this is the example of the website. You can get the free fonts. So this is the fontspace.com. And uh, you can actually grab any font you like. And uh, they mentioned that uh, free fonts for commercial use. So hopefully this is true. But I would advise you to go through the, uh, th through the license for each font. But you can get any of the font you like. So let's say I want to I wanna use maybe... Maybe this one. So I'm going to download it. Once it's downloaded, let's go to the to the folder. I'm going to grab it from here. Let's go back to Unity. And inside our asset, let's go to the asset. Let's right click create folder and I will call it fonts. OK, let's open this folder right click inside the folder show in the explorer let's go inside the fonts again and let's paste uh, paste this in so this is a zip file so you need to unzip it so right click and then extract all and then extract okay so this is the font we have so as you see, we have two different fonts. So I'm going to delete the zip file now. So let's delete it. We don't need it. We're just going to use this fo this folder. OK, so now if you go back to Unity. Unity should import that font and the font should be available for you here. Right. So we can select our color text and we can replace our font asset. 
So in order to actually replace the font for our text mesh pro, as you see, we need to create the font asset. So inside my font folder, I will right click create and then let's find text mesh pro and select the font asset. Okay. So as you see, I have the error message uh, that I need to select the font first before I create that asset. So I will just right click on the font, create text mesh pro font asset. Okay. And I have the font asset created from this, the, the font I have selected. Let's do that for another one. So select the font, right click, create text mesh pro font asset. And we have two font assets. Okay. So now I can select the color text and I can just grab this font asset and drop it into the font asset. And as you see, my font has changed and uh, I will do the same for the balls text. We use the same asset and we have two texts. So now let's go to the color text. I will move it up. Let's change the width to 400. Let's change the height to 200 and let's change the font size to 75 or maybe 105. Okay, I will position it here and uh, let's do the same for the for the balls text. So select the balls text uh, 400. 200 height and then 105 okay and let's move it in the middle or you can make it smaller if you like i will change the color for the for the balls to be maybe something orange okay so uh so if you like you can set the color for the color text as well maybe something something orange or blue is up to you so we have the color balls as you can see in this way you can create a very custom text uh, whatever you like and you can get any font you like really and place it inside the inside the text mesh pro so we have the text we have the buttons there are another two buttons we want to add so this is for the for the sounds effect so let's create another button uh, so right click on the canvas UI button and let's call this button sound button okay for the sound button I'm gonna use uh, the the version the blue version of the buttons uh, the purple version of the buttons and let's find the sound button should be right at the bottom somewhere Okay, so that's going to be the sound on button. Okay, so let's grab the sounds on button and drop it into the source image. Now let's hit the set native size and change the scale to 0 0.2, 0 0.2 and 0 0.2. Okay, and now let's remove the text component. Let's position this button to be somewhere at the bottom. Actually, I will make this button a bit smaller. So 0 0.15, 0 0.15 and 0 0.15. Okay, so we have the sound button. Let's copy this button. So select this button, Control C, Control V. And this is going to be the sound effect button. Let's find the sound effect button icon. So I will use this icon, music on. Let's grab it and drop it here and move it on the X to the side. So our main menu is completed now. In the next episode, we're going to add the behavior for those buttons and also start to implement the game logic. So hopefully you like this episode. Uh, please do let me know if you have any questions or any suggestion so thank you very much for watching and i will see you again in the next episode